Was that? <laughs> no! I told you to run. You're too soft. Behave now. I'd hate to stick you through that precious throat of yours. <laughs> you know, I didn't expect you to actually bother to come. The songbird baited the trap nicely after all. I suppose that settles it. The rats were working together. Must be quite a story behind this. But more importantly, time and time again, you dragged my name through the mud. And now look who's the traitor. Oh, I'm going to make this hurt. Hector, come. Hector? Wait, that's your dog? You mean he transformed at your command? That animal's been corrupted by melancholia, and still you tamed it. Gladell, why did you hide such an amazing talent? Isn't taking hostages a bit beneath you? What? Don't you dare patronize me! You think I don't realize it? I'm not strong, I'm no towering basant war hero. All I've got is my wits, damn you! How could I win a rigged game but through foul play? Foul play? And now, I'll wipe those arrogant smiles off their faces. I should be the man being served and worshipped. Me! No one else! And yet every time, I watched them surpass me in everything I did. That bastard Luis included. They've been thorn after bloody thorn in my side, but that all ends today. I'll offer you up on a silver platter, and one day, the world will know me as its rightful ruler! Oh my, you're pathetic. I told you to shut your damned mouth! Go, Hector! Don't move. That goes for you too, fairy. Unless you'd rather see her pretty little neck bleed. What do we do? <sighs> right now, all we can do is make it through this. We're not careful about this. Juna might. <laughs> Spectacular! A fitting end for a pack of rats. Get them, Hector. No. Isn't there anything we can do? <laughs> you like that? Who's your king now? I am. You let your dog do your fighting. You're such a disgrace. He has no pets here. So what's the matter? Are you too scared to fight him alone? A duel? <laughs> Have it your way. Come then, we'll do this right. <laughs> <laughs> I am Gladell, and you will kneel before me as your king! So, who are you to me? I am the one who would save this country! Well, that worked better than I expected. This is bad. That guy is near the top of the candidate rankings. That means the royal magic will make him invincible to us. <laughs> <laughs> you have the right of it. You fell for it. She brought you straight to me. Now I have you, and I'll ensure your suffering is long and painful. But see reason. Juna, if you take my son, I might be persuaded to spare you. Am I not worthy of your affection? I'm more of a man than that bastard Luis could ever be! Over my dead body! I am Juana Cygnus. I am no one's trinket. My life is my own to protect, and I will accept nothing less! <laughs> what? It worked? <laughs> well, you're not invincible! Damn you! What's going on here? <laughs> Let me help. 
Your powers have intrigued me from the start. You and your friends. You call it... an archetype, right? What? I thought as much. Surprising, though. I'd written them off as a myth. Not even my sister got close. Still, now that I've seen their power a few times, maybe I can do it myself. Very well. O oh, Lord Star, who wanders in sorrow. O oh, thou anguished traveler who hath borne the weight of parting from the start. Henceforth, thy fears and insecurities become thy light. Thou art the brilliant star that shall illuminate the King's Road. Now, awaken. Look. Look at me. What you see now is my commitment to my song. Behold, my voice rises from the depths of my heart. can die together. Fine. You want a brutal fight? He's about to get one. Let's raise him higher! I will... Let's set it up! Magic Seeker! Let me help Thank you. you. Quiz me now, Hector! This is just what I need! Burn! Uh, you're uh, not here! That helped! With me now, Hector! I'll show you! Raging fire! Uh, Death By the to all traitors! With me now, Hector! Won't hold back! Burn! Ow! I call upon a royal soul! Stubborn, eh? Uh, Magic Seeker! Um, with your healing right power! Your king. Thank you! With me now, Hector! Me. 
Okay. I'll strive for greater heights. I... I give! Please. I'll not say a word about you sneaking in. Just spare my life, I beg you. What do we do? If we let him run off, he's obviously going to rat us out. But killing him would give us a lot to explain. Maybe we should work out some kind of deal. Idiots! It's the oldest trick in the book! Why? What's happening? No. I'm the future king. I can't... I can't breathe. Why? Is he dead? So the magic protected us. But why now? What the hell? Dead? You lot kill him. N no! He's the one who attacked us! And then the king's magic did all that to him! That the truth of it? Oh, he snuck into Count Luis's private quarters. Must have gotten in with all the confusion of takeoff, I suppose. Right? And why did the bloody thing take off like that? We could hardly believe our eyes. Oh, well, you know me and my indulgences, boys. Perhaps I got a bit carried away, but we're in Brylehaven. I simply had to see the night view over the city. You have an laugh. Anyway, Ben Gladell went from crass to violent. That's when he stepped in to help, right? Yes, that was a close one. Totally. Close call. Crikey, Lady Juna, I'm sorry. Sounds like you've had a right awful evening. Hold on. You were supposed to be at the soiree, weren't you? That's a lot of ground to cover, isn't it? Why? One would think you don't believe us, Fidelio. I'm wounded. You truly doubt me. Well, no, just... I suppose that means the rat was Glodel. Lord Louis said we got a traitor in our midst, is all. We came by thinking to catch him. This... is that so? Well, hadn't you better report back? Shall we make what we can of this party together? Your throat all better then, Lady Juna. My... Ah, oh, yes. Much better. He gave me such a thorough examination, after all. He took good care of my throat. My tongue. My lips. He, um... You. If you'd come a bit earlier, I might have asked you to do it. Really? Hardly matters to me. Anyway, I'd say this bears reporting. Let's leave the guards to their cleanup and get out of here. Yeesh, looks could kill. Scary. So Gladell was our rat, was he? And he's already been executed? Afraid so. The two of them were the only ones who left the soiree early. It sounds like Gladell overstepped and Lady Juna and the new lad had to fight him down. Or it could have been the other way around. Too right. Dead can't speak, after all, and we've no other witnesses to the scene. Now hold on. Gladell was a right prolific candidate. We know the King's magic protected him. Their story goes that he attacked them and got petrified to death for it. If that's true, the boy would have to have the stand-in for it. That fact is no longer in question. I received a report a short while ago. They say your face has emerged on the King's Rock. It appears your stunt with the Sancteress earned you some renown. Hey, good for you, Pop. And that's how the magic got to Gladell. 
One wonders what you stopped Gladell from doing. What was he after there? Yeah, who knows? We were hardly in a position to ask. Wonder if he was on old Forden's payroll. Nah. He'd been at that monk Godot's neck since the race had barely started. Tried to snuff him out in the wilds, too. Not anywhere he'd have had an audience. No matter. Forden has been kind enough to whip the people into a frenzy over this race. I'll step in and reap what he so graciously sowed. From here on, you will serve as my eyes and ears. Understood. Let us see what scheme Forden devises for the next task. Until then, you may take your ease in the city. Oh, and with Gladell out with the rubbish, might I promote him to the role of my chauffeur? Are you serious? Is it so strange? He does have his own gauntlet runner. In fact, I'd better go make sure it's up to my standards. Let her do as she pleases. <laughs> What's wrong, Del? Looking a bit green around the gills. Gladell was an ambitious man, yeah, but is that enough to justify him looting Count Luis's personal quarters? What was in it for him? All right. Sorry for barging in. A bit late for introductions, I expect. What? You haven't told them about me yet. I can't tell them what you haven't told me. So, can I assume that you are one of us? That is, we too stand alongside Count Luis, but how to say it? I think you and I were after the same thing in old Luis's room. You really weren't told. Don't tell me you're the other agent Grius mentioned. Grius? Is he the one who died at the Grand Cathedral? I'm sorry. They kept the finer details confidential, so I never really knew who the other agent was. But I understand the objective well enough. The curse on His Highness the Prince can't be lifted by conventional methods. So we either kill the caster or get the formula. I see. So you and Grius were the two prongs of the operation. You get the formula, he hunts the caster. Ever since the King's magic made it impossible to kill Luis, I've been ready to meet up with a new contact. I just wasn't expecting one so young. If I hadn't learned the fairy messenger's name was Gallica, I'd never have realized it was you. I'm pretty shocked myself. I never figured the big famous songstress would be on our side. And I thought you and Luis were... Uh... You were his... His lady love. <laughs> God, no. I wouldn't be caught dead in that madman's quarters unless it was to rob him blind. No. Luis keeps me close because he likes my voice. That's all. He made the lines of that relationship quite clear, with no room for messier entanglements. I think that clears up your place here. But I have to say, you're risking a lot for a side job. Why go to these lengths when you've so much to lose? At first, it was just coincidence. I tend to find myself in honored company, and I happened to be around where a resistance operative was doing a spot of recon. So, in sooth, you were strong-armed into this? What? No, no. Quite the other. I requested to join. When fate beckons, one can't just turn her away. A singer's whole self is built off all she experiences. This seemed like a chance for a once-in-a-lifetime inspiration for my art. And nobody else had a plausible way or reason to get close to Luis. So, you could say our interests aligned. All that just so you could grow as a singer. You really are devoted and fearless to boot. I know what I put my life on the line for, that's all. You all have something like that, don't you? A devotion that anyone else might see as foolish. Ha! <laughs> The girl's bold as brass. No wonder she's got all the crown subjects by the heartstrings, eh? Well, half of it might be because of my birth. The Nydia girl's got to be bold to step out into this world at all. Though it's hard for most people to understand why. Singing is everything to me. 
to truly stir even a single soul. I'd take that over a thousand of the church's accolades. Well, anyhow, that's what's going on with me. I'll stick close to Luis for now so he doesn't start suspecting anything. Any objections? Captain? We'll be counting on you. I knew you were the sort of man who knows what to say. Glad to meet you as a proper comrade. Gets your heart going, doesn't it? Well, didn't see that coming. But I guess we've got another ally now. Our journey looked pretty precarious at first, but it's gone surprisingly smoothly. I'll do my best to help too. Let's see this through. Gotta get back on track. Anyway, welcome aboard, Juna. Oh, right! Let's decipher the formula we found. Do we even know anyone who can read the blasted thing? Oh, I love a good blueprint, but this formula leaves me a tad glazed, what? Actually, Grace's notebook mentioned a Rella in the margins. Seems like he had it in mind to bring it to her. Rella? The girl they call the Saint? Saint Rella. Indeed, she would be the most qualified. After the attack on His Highness, we sent for the kingdom's best healer. It was she who answered our summons, and she who saved His Highness from certain death. Hold on, the best healer in the kingdom? That attack was over ten years ago. That so-called saint looked about my age. Rella was a prodigal talent, one of the most gifted at the Mage Academy. Even as a child, she outclassed her teachers with an igniter. Wait, you know her? I'm afraid she's a bit out of our reach now, though. She left a while ago to return to her work at the royal capital. We couldn't manage such a trip under Luis's gaze. Well, a trip to the royal capital would hardly put us out. We'll just pip over with a bit of magic. No, really, it's dash it convenient. There are some conditions, but we could travel instantly to a few specific places. Well, no sense waiting. Let's be off. Right. All yours. You... you actually did it! We're at the Royal Capital! Wait, 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 how did you do that? Don't shout in the streets, would you? How can I not? Do you know how incredible this is? What are you people? Hey, look! Isn't that the songstress? It is! It's the Lady Juna! Oh, I'm always wanting to shake her hand! Oh, hell. The price of fame. If word gets out that you were seen here, it'll be hard to explain yourself later on. Rella works at the church on Main Street. I'll lead the way. You know your way around, eh? Wait. This Rella's a world-class healer, and she's working as a local doctor. Is that uncommon? Igniters are not known for their use in healing. Indeed, tis a virtually impossible feat, often reserved for the nobility. I'd have expected Saint Rella to serve the court only. If she turned down that prestige in the name of helping the common folk, then I suppose she really has earned her saintly titles. Come on, let's hurry on. What do you make of all this, Captain? If we ask her to decipher the curse, we risk exposing our identities and our aims. Do you trust her? She certainly seems trustworthy enough. Oh, um, yeah. I guess we agree there. If you say so, then let's get on. Let's hurry.
terribly sorry. Putting some elixirs away. Be with you in a moment. Hello. How can I help you? <sighs> Juna. Long time no see. Sorry for all of us storming the place. And you. You're the one who was at the exhibition. Right. Now that you all know each other's names, Rella is my older sister. Adopted sister, that is. Her family took me in. Though don't spread it around. The public doesn't know, and we don't know who tried to exploit it. It's been forever, Juna. I'm so sorry. I really was planning to meet you after the opening ceremony. I understand. You were attending to Sanctifex Forden until Brylehaven. But that's wonderful. Such deft social climbing even puts father's efforts to shame, eh? Oh, social climbing. Glad to make your acquaintance. I am Rella Cygnus. I'm a healer. But somehow, I doubt that's why you're here. Actually, there's something we'd like you to look at. Where... Where did you get this? I know it's asking a lot, but... Could you share anything you know? Without asking too many questions? I've seen something like this before. I'd never forget. Objectively speaking, the magic involved is a direct inversion of a healing spell. Popularly known as a curse. Hmm. I suppose that stands to reason. Pardon the late introduction. I am Hulkenberg, a Knight of the Crown. As you may have guessed, that is the formula to the curse that slew his royal highness, the prince. Hold on! The death of his highness was a tragedy, one I would see repaid in full. As his royal guard, it is my duty to punish the treasonous snake responsible. Then surely the man who penned this was Luis. Look, what happened at the exhibition? We were trying to get closer to Luis. You're a holy woman, so I couldn't ask your forgiveness. But if you could at least understand... The Lady Joanna's penitence was sincere. To hear her, I thought it must be so. It was Forden who chose such a terrible punishment. That was what scared me. Oh, Rella. Ah, but I'm a bit relieved. I heard rumors Louise had swept you off your feet and you'd been hanging on his arm since. Oh, I worried for you so, Juna. I see now I needn't have given it a second thought. Of course. I am Juani Cygnus, and my life is... Yes, yes, your life is your own, I know. Just make sure you're not causing trouble for everyone else. I suppose this is another dramatic and risky gesture. Like when you ran away from home in a frenzy of passion, declaring you'd take the stage or die trying. No! Well, sort of. Maybe, yes, but... Oh! You didn't have to put it like that. I've looked over the formula. From what I can tell, this spell's effects are... enduring. As long as the magic source continues to exist, the effect shall never fade. The trouble is, while most curses simply consume the magic released in the moment's casting, this one is designed to perpetually draw on the magic of the caster. So as long as Luis lives, it doesn't matter where his victims run and hide. Sounds just like him. But I'm afraid even if his highness still lived, I don't think anyone could have broken the curse using this. This formula isn't complete. It's a mere outline clearly jotted from memory. I couldn't tell you how to lift the curse from this alone. What? Then... I'm sorry I couldn't be of any help. No, you, you've done plenty. Especially since we're the ones who sprang this on you. Pardon me, young man. May I say one last thing? You're a friend of hers, aren't you? Please, keep Juna safe. Of course. I'll do what I can. Thank you. She can be reckless sometimes. I'll be here for the foreseeable future. Any friend of Juna is welcome here, so stop by any time you like. The curse is impossible to break? Did I miss a funeral? 
I've never seen you lot so gloomy. <sighs> what do we do now? The only way left is to take down Luis himself. The impossibility of that is precisely what led us here, Stroll. And now, we are no further than when we started. Plenty of assassins have come for Luis, but the King's magic works every time. They all died frozen in agony. Even if we could fight him properly, do we stand a chance? The man's an unparalleled master of both martial and magic arts. This might be the end. Still, we have to stop Luis, no matter what. The royal magic's not an absolute shield. It cost Gladell his life. We've just got to maintain the trust we've earned from Luis, and eventually we'll get our chance. For now, he told us to wait until the race's next task is announced. Then we'll have to do just that. <sighs> I'm pooped from all this brainstorming. I could use a break in the gauntlet, Runner. <sighs> well, I must say I'm impressed. You have enough beds to accommodate this many people. Yes. As much as they grumble about cramped quarters. Apologies. Tis hardly accommodation worthy of a diva. And I confess the ride itself is often jarring. At the very least, I'll be happy with a bath. You have a room for that, I trust? Right this way, milady. Well, no point getting reckless now. Let's think about this some more tomorrow. By the way, what have you been doing all this time, Nurus? Thinking, mostly. Been having a good old ponder ever since I saw Luis's Skyrunner in the air. Always been my dream to fly on wings, you see. Not with any of this magic levitatory. And then in you come with this teleportation. Made me start wondering if there was any valid point at all to my flight theory, what? A long while back, I did a flight experiment to prove my theory was sound. Failed spectacularly, though, and got myself all crunched up in the process. I was still in bed, midway through my convalescence, when they, when they told me I was to be demoted. I didn't know. Between us, old boy, my flight theory is complete. Principles are sound and tested. All that's left are the practical, eh? Incorporating it into the gauntlet runner. But ever since that accident, I, I suppose I've... I've been afraid to move forward with it. Afraid of failure. You and the rest of our merry band are risking your very lives for the prince. And here I sit moping, eh? The way I see it, your teleportation can only take us places we've been. If we want to see new horizons, we'll need to take to the skies. It'll take time, no doubt. But I'll put my very soul into it. No shortcuts. And when I fly, I'll do it my way. Thank you.